Siri, directions to Wolf's Glen. Directions to Great Wolf Lodge. No, Siri, Wolf's Glen Restaurant. One option I see, Woods Garden Supply on Benedict Canyon. Siri, Wolf's Glen Restaurant in Westwood. One option I see, the Wolseley Restaurant in Burbank. No, 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 you're not listening. I said Wolf's Glen Restaurant in Westwood. A wolf's den is a habitat that provides wolves with protection oh, you from weather and stupid fucking idiot. It's Wolf's Glen Restaurant in Westwood. One option I see, J. Wolf Clothing. No, no, you fuck! Wolf's Glen Restaurant! Sorry, I didn't get that. Oh my God, you fucking moron! It's Wolf's Glen, you cunt! Bunt cake is a cake that is baked in a bunt pan. I, bunt, I, I said you can't! I said you can't! Sorry, I didn't get I that. called you a cunt! One option I see. Carson City, Nevada. Ah, shut up! One option I see. Wool glove. Shut the fuck up! Sorry, I didn't get that. Oh, fuck you! Housekeeping! Oh, come in. Five pieces of apple pie. Hey, good morning. Is a problem? What's with the eye roll? I come back. What do you mean? Wait, wait a second. I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? This, this is a typical room. There's clothes strewn about. Yes, I see. There's underwear and socks. I come what? back. What? What do they? That's what people do when they're in a hotel. Yeah, socks, underwear on the floor. You don't care. You don't. You're not home. I'm, I'm completely bewildered by this whole thing. I really don't understand. I mean, this is a typical room. What? What are you doing? Just see, just the wheel. Ah, why'd you take my glasses? She wanted to try a new style. I wanted to see what your glasses looked like on her. You know, you could have asked me. You would have said no. Are you serious? What the hell? What? What's wrong? What's wrong? Yes. They don't fit. Oh my goodness. You stretched them out. No, did I do? didn't. I didn't do anything to them. They yes, must have been did. like that when she gave no, them to No, they were like that. Look at the size of her head. Are you kidding? You can't just take a pair of glasses and try them on. You have a big head. Dare I say freakish? No, I don't have a big head. It's excessive. It's like a jack o' lantern. You know what? You got a peanut head, like Mr. Peanut. Look at this. I didn't look at do. this. I tell look, you look. I they see won't it. stay on my I... face. What is wrong with you? The glasses are fragile. She's got a giant fucking head. She ruined my glasses. I'm Brooke. Yes. Hi, Larry. Nice to meet you, Larry. Well, it's nice to meet you, Brookie. Uh, it's Brooke. Excuse me. It's Brooke. My name is Brooke. Brooke. Yeah. Michael told me about the Brooke Brookie thing. Um, there's not a thing. My name is Brooke. Michael calls you Brookie. My good friends call me Brookie. Brookie! Oh my Hi. God, Carl! <laughs> I thought I saw you across the room. <laughs> so nice to meet you, Lair. Bye, okay. Brookie. So you call her Brookie? Yeah. How long have you known her? Well, we met a few months ago at a dinner party. And this is the second time you're seeing? Yeah, second time. So you met once at a dinner party? And you've been calling a Brookie? Yeah. Did you call a Brookie at the dinner party? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Carl, who hardly knows you at all, calls you Brookie, whereas I was given very strict instructions by you to call you Brooke. If I had a Lair Larry rule, Carl wouldn't be calling me Lair, I can tell you that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you want me to call you Lair? No, because I don't have a Lair Larry rule. I don't have a Brooke Brookie rule. No, you do. You do have a Brooke Brookie rule. And it only applies to me. Larry, my name is Brooke. 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, we got a Zoom call. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tomorrow you have a Zoom call? Yeah, we got a I Zoom call. I don't think so, Jeff. You're going to have to change that. What the hell's the matter with you? Oh, shit. It's your birthday. Yes, exactly. No Zooming on my birthday. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, no wait. work on my no, birthday. No work? What? No. no Zooming? What is that, a national holiday? Well, it's it's uh, a sacred day for Jeff and me. Is he allowed you... to go to the bathroom? Can he go to the bathroom? Yes, he can go to the bathroom. Oh. And you could do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, oh, but don't Jeff worry. But Jeff is mine all day. Yeah, but he's 10 years old? Come on. You know, if I wasn't born, I think the whole world would be shit. You know what, if this was that movie with the Jimmy Stewart... Uh, it's a Wonderful Life? Yeah, and the angel was taking you around, nobody would give a fuck. <laughs> Very funny. Excuse me, is there anything else I can help you with? I know you were interested in the fedoras, I can show you those. Yeah, you know, on second thought, uh, I don't think so. Well, the restroom is for paying customers only. Well, I browsed with intent to buy, but... Unfortunately, I didn't really see anything that was of interest to me. In your previous condition, how much would you have paid to use the restroom? 500. 500? Mm. Wow. 
Yeah. I cannot believe I found a pair, but I found the perfect pair for her. Fantastic. I got mine. What'd you guys come up with? We've been browsing. All over the store. And we've come up with that purse. That purse? That's perfect. Thank you both. Yes. Wow, great call. Yes, we found that in the store. See? I'm a customer. No, he's a customer. You're just his friend who pooped in our toilet. Fluke. Oh my God. It's what, Fluke. What are you doing? What's the matter with you? I got Fluke in three. What are you shouting at Fluke? It's a genius. It's who a does challenge. that? It's so rude. It's so disrespectful. It's like sneezing in someone's face. You just ruined our day. Hey, don't do that again. You never would have gotten it. I would have got it. Oh, get over it. It's such a shitty thing to do. Man, she's something else, man. Very sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. Well, I'm father-in-law, but thank you. Father-in-law? Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, that's, you know, that's a, that's a little better. Well, it's my father-in-law. It's, it's a loss. Dwayne, of course it's a loss, but it, no, it's not your dad. Well, it's a human being. Yeah, yeah, of course. I know that I'm just trying to delineate the differences between a father and a father-in-law. It's a very sad thing. Terrible loss for your wife. Okay, say say your dog dies. That's one thing. That's that's terrible. But if your friend's dog dies, it's not quite the same. Okay. But so anyway, is your wife around, Lorraine? Is she here? Can going to talk to her? Maybe we just let her rest. Okay. Will you tell her how sorry I am about her dad? Are you? Because it doesn't really sound like it. Between you and me, my condolences aren't quite as deep as the average person. I'm picking that up. I wanted to talk to you about the lemon tree. The lemon tree? Yeah, along the fence. It's, it's back there. It's given us so many oh, lemons the over the years. Oh, the one that hangs over my yard. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The roots, they're damaging my pipes, so we got to do something about this tree. I'll get an estimate. We'll sit down, and we'll split the cost of the tree maintenance, and we can keep enjoying these lemons. Split the cost of the tree? Dwayne, I mean, you know, come on. It's your tree. It's on your it's side. our tree. It's, it's not our tree. Let me get this right. So it's it's yeah. it's our tree when you want lemons, and it's my tree when we have to take care of it and maintain I, it. I want some lemons. I don't want lemons. You think I need lemons in my life? I have better news for you. I'm leaving you in my will. I'm tweaking it, and you're in it. No, no, no. Don't, don't do that. It's done. You're in. I don't want to be in it. I, got, I have money. I don't need it. Give it to someone who needs it. When I die, I want you to know how much I care about you. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to give it to charity. You're my best friend. You're getting it. No, I'm making a sherman -esque statement about the will right now. I'm sick of your historical references. If nominated, I will not run. If bequeathed, I will not accept. Well, I'm bequeathing. Well, I'm not accepting. Well, you'll have to accept. Don't give it to me. Don't hurt my feelings. I'm not going to keep a penny of it. You're hurting me. Thank you but I don't want it. I'm giving it to you anyway, pal. Oh, my God. Fuck you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm waiting. For what? Troy and Jimmy are on the fairway. You're never going to hit them. You don't think I can hit them? No! You've never hit the ball that far in your life. Come on. Really? Yeah. You're never going to hit it that far. What are you, nuts? All right, shut up. Now, you shut up. Holy shit! You hit him! I, 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 look. I, I, I told you I was just a fucking hit you, I? I'm so sorry. What in the hell? I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm so sorry. Why didn't you yell four? I, well, I couldn't yell four. I mean, he can't hear. And what would be the point? I waved. I did a lot of waving. When you talk, the interpreter can hear you. I know, but he was too far. He was in the car. I could have grabbed him. We could have ran to the trees. There was no time. The ball was coming There's down. There's plenty of time. You yelled more when you hit it. Superman couldn't get there in time to stop that. You should have waited till we were in the clear. Why didn't you wait? Because of the guys I was playing with, they, they said, oh, go, go, go. They embarrassed me. They said, oh, you can never hit him. Did you do the vertical drop, horizontal tug? Yeah, I did it. I did it. I did the vertical drop and the horizontal tug. And you know what? It really worked. Look how far I hit the ball. I couldn't even believe it. Oh, they threw my ball away. I gotta take a drop. No, no, no dropping, man. You can't no, take a drop. What are you talking about? They threw my ball away. You hit somebody. That's right. He's fine. He's okay. Listen, I'm dropping a ball. You're not dropping. You can't drop. I'm dropping. You're not dropping. Oh, I'm dropping. You are not dropping the Fuck ball. Fuck you. I'm dropping you the ball. You are not dropping the Fuck ball. Fuck you. You're a cheater. No, you're a cheater. It sounds like a coyote. It is a coyote. They're killers, man. It sounds like he's eating a dog. Jeff, don't you live around there? That is my house. Oh my God, that could be my puppy. You know what, Lair? I gotta go home. Huh? 
What? That could be my dog. Does your neighbor have a dog? Yeah, there's a few dogs around. All right, so it might be one of your neighbor's dogs. Uh, that sounded like a puppy. I mean, if he's eaten, there's nothing you can do about it. And if he's dead, what are you going to do, sit shiva? Yeah, you can't bring the dog back to life. We're talking about a puppy. Yeah, I know, but if we're on the golf course, we're having a nice day. You'll see it later. He's right, man. You know and if it's not, right. there's nothing to be gained by going home. Let's just play. You know what? You're right. Either my puppy's dead or it's a neighbor's dog. Nothing you can do either way. What can I get started for you guys? I'm thinking scrambled eggs. Yes, me too. Yeah, uh, I'll have pancakes. We are actually already onto the lunch menu. Yeah. What? At 11 o'clock, we switch over to the no. lunch menu. So. I mean, it's 11.10. That's not 11. <laughs> what do you, what do you, what's, what's the difference? It's just eggs. You know, I mean, those are the rules. What am I supposed to do? What's going on in the kitchen after 11? What, what happens in those 10 minutes? What are they doing? We have to draw the line somewhere, so. Such a what limited it? menu. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I see there's a cop salad on the menu, right? Right. Yeah, there are eggs in the cop salad. Correct. Okay, so take the eggs from the cob salad, take the bacon from the cob salad, and put it on some toast. Yeah, I see what you're trying to do there. You're, you're looking for a breakfast loophole. It's not going to work. Do me a favor, will you just ask? I can ask. Thank I you. will. Yeah. And as long as you're asking, I brought my own this eggs. So Excuse me. That difficult. But eggs after 11? What is this? Um, I will be right with you. Sorry. Can I'd I like some eggs. Just give me, give me oh, one well, second. Sorry. I want an omelet. See what you did? What? This is what happens when you break the rules. Yeah, well, it's a stupid rule, okay? Is it? Eggs are an all-day food, oh, by the way. Everybody's got something to say about you. <laughs> Although one person did call you an asshole. Who, 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 called me, who called me an asshole? I'm curious. Larry, we're not going to do this, okay? I don't give up my sources. I need you to respect my journalistic integrity. Journalistic right integrity? Where's the integrity of telling me that somebody called me an asshole? Is there integrity there? It's a small part of a larger story. I have to tell the full picture. But it's a universal fact that everybody is called an asshole. I'm sure Mother Teresa was called an asshole by someone. Oh, I doubt that, Larry. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt no. it. Somebody must have said, oh, she's so good, she's so good. What an asshole. So, there, somebody must please. have said that. Oh, look at Miss Perfect helping the lepers. You know, come on. And I'm not giving you the source so we can just drop it, Larry. That's it. That's it. You're looking for Juicy? I got Juicy for you. What do you got? Follow me. We have a couple of questions we'd like to ask he does. you. He's got some questions. Okay. Are you making the eggs I bring in? Oh, you're... Yeah, breakfast at 1130 guy. I know you, yeah. Yeah. I used your eggs. And you know what, just so you know, yeah. breakfast at 1130 kind of screws everything up back here for us. So what's so hard about making an egg after 11? You crack an egg, you break it, in, and then and you cook it. Oh, so if it's what? so easy, put on a little hat and get back here then. I can make an egg, I oh, know that. Oh, you can? Yeah. Then why do you come in here? Are you writing this down? Where's your bed? Yeah. No, no, I'm No. No, nothing, not a word. I, those are my eggs. Those are not your eggs. Those, those are, are not my eggs? eggs. What are they doing? Two eggs off to the side like that. Willie, you seen this? There's two stray eggs. Two eggs? What's a stray egg? Look. You see this, Willie? Yeah, two brown eggs. No, not just two brown eggs. One's caramel colored, one's an almond sheen. A sheen? I don't see a sheen on this. There's a sheen, eggs, yeah. Eggs don't even have a sheen. Eggs have a sheen. No sheen here. There's a sheen, Willie. All right, thank you. Goodbye. OK, yeah. I'm leaving. That was the story? Yeah, what do Larry, you mean? There's no story Look, there. Do you see what's going on? There's no story. They're not making my eggs. I wasn't enjoying my meal, my pancakes, because I was rushed into pancakes. It wasn't what I wanted to choose. I, I didn't rush you into the pancakes. You pan did rush me I, into No, pancakes. I did not. And it wasn't up to him to give her his eggs. Hobie was trying to extend a courtesy that wasn't being extended by I know what he was else, trying to do, but you. it wasn't right for him yeah. to do that. It wasn't his place. He, he overstepped his bounds. It was your place, and you weren't doing it. I think you're upset with Hobie because he's a better person than you. Oh, well, is that what you think? I'll tell I you what. So, I'll tell you he, what. I'm upset with Hobie because he's and full because of he shit. Because he wanted pancakes and he was jealous of our pancakes. And when she didn't want the pancakes, he couldn't wait to get his hands on them. What the hell? You can't talk to my wife like that. Talk to your wife like what? You can't give her a hard time in your session. You're busting her balls all the time. <laughs> It's very unethical for her to be talking about something private that I said to her with you. She's my wife. Of but course she's going to talk that, to me. You're not entitled to that information. Oh, she doesn't tell she me don't... everything. She tells me certain things. She shouldn't tell you anything. As a matter of fact, she did tell me a little something about how you didn't like the fact that I gave uh, my eggs to your girlfriend the other day. What the hell's with that? We know you wanted the pancakes. 
I know you wanted the Didn't, pancakes. I could care less. You wanted the pancakes, Hobie. Okay, you know what? You're yeah. just being this disgruntled dick right now. I'm getting a lot of big D disgruntled no, energy no, from you. No, you're getting small D disgruntled energy. That fish, it looks like he's stuck. Oh, no, fish not stuck, fish sick. No, no, fish stuck. No, this time of year is tough for fish, so fish get sick easily. The filter is very warm, so it makes him feel better. So it's okay, it's normal. Seriously, look at that. That fish is stuck. No, see, fish wiggle, and me, fish sneeze. Fish don't sneeze, the fish didn't sneeze. No, fish sneeze. This guy's stuck. Fish sick, no, fish stuck. No, fish sick. No, he's gonna get sick if he stays stuck. Yeah, no, it's okay. Can someone go in the tank and unstuck? Oh, so it's not necessary. Fish sick. Okay, you're out of your mind. Hey, Zeckelman. Yeah. You have a problem with the name of our child? I thought that given the choice of Mantle and Zeckelman, that Mantle was a, was a better name. Based on what exactly? Let's be honest, it's not a great name. What's Mantle. wrong with it? Zeckelman, come on. You seem really worked a... up over my last name. I assume it's your semen? It's... Because that's how you got Zeckelman? We're having this conversation? Well, so... I mean, I'm just wondering how you got there. It's, yeah, yeah it... It's my semen. If you must know, it's his semen. It's your semen. What's the problem with that? I mean, you would think that, you know, the... The donor would, would get the name. I don't know if you've chosen a first name, but if you need any help, mm. I'm your guy. Off the top of my head, mm -hmm. yeah. Ziggy. Ziggy Zeckelman. Name. You think Ziggy Zeckelman is a great name? I do. Scooter Zeckelman? They're all good names. We'll uh, put them both in the hat. We're there. not putting that in the hat. How about Foots? Foots Zeckelman. Foots. Is our family a joke to you, Larry? No! Zeckelman needs a cool first name. I think I've had enough of this conversation. Okay. Who's in charge of the bricks? I am. You are. Yes. You know there's a brick that says Larry David is disrespectful to women. You allowed that to be up there? We don't really edit the bricks. The the donor gets to express what thoughts and feelings. Oh, so they anybody have. could write anything they want on a brick? Well, we would not like hate speech. Well, what is that? That's hate speech. I think it's strong dislike speech. Okay, I want that taken down. We only add bricks. We we don't take them away. Oh, you don't remove bricks. That brick is gonna be up there forever. Posterity. Let me ask you a question. There's nothing in the old testament? about defamatory bricks? You think if Isaac chiseled something defamatory about Jedediah, you, you think it wouldn't be taken down? There's nothing in the Torah about defamatory bricks. You know what this is, Rabbi? What? This is a Shanta. Wait, excuse me. Certainly. I got kicked out of my house, so. Why'd you get kicked out? What happened? Well, quite frankly, you know, you stuck this thing in my head about naming babies, and we got in a big fight, and things were thrown, and... To tell you the truth, I'm kind of surprised you're sloughing off the blame on me. And I'm equally surprised you won't accept the blame. I think I'm way more surprised than you... I think I'm... ...about the sloughing of the blame. And I'm really wildly surprised that you aren't accepting I am so incredulous that you think I am more to blame than you. What are you doing here, Lair? I haven't seen him. Hey, Chief, what's up? Johnny! You're talking to me? Yeah, kind of like powwow. Look, what's your problem? My problem? I don't have a problem. Your problem is that you're way in my area with your jack. No, no. that's where your jack belongs, on the back of the chair. It's my chair. Ew. So I get what? to put it on my Whoa. back. Just leave it alone. This is draped beautifully over the back of my chair. It's not disturbing anybody. Shit. It's draped like yes. you're giving me a lap dance. Oh, please. Okay. Everybody knows that a jacket goes on the back of the chair. You drive a car? Yeah. You could drive into every lane on the yeah. parkway. No, huh? I, no, I'm married. I can't just go to the mall and I, fuck any woman I want. Both of you, stop it. Why don't you put it on the front of his jacket? front? What an idiot you are. His neck is going to be on my jacket. You my jack is going to be on his neck. That doesn't make any sense. Both of you, shut up. Sit back. Just it. It's enough. Well, we'll keep an eye out. Can I talk to you for a second? What, what is it? Could, could, could you stop uh, jogging for a second so I can I can oh, talk to you? I can't stop. Huh? Why would I stop? I'm in the middle of a job. I know, but it's, it's hard to have a conversation with somebody who's bouncing up and down. What is it? What do you need? Well, I think it's a little harsh to ban my friend for life from the restaurant when really... Let me ask you a question. Sure. In your bedroom, you have a sign, let's say. Let's say maybe you have a sign. Masturbate all you want. Okay. After a while, you say, no more. I can't. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, because the well runs dry. You, you know, there's no more water left. You oh, can't. Oh, there can be yeah. water. There can be water. But no, it's no. a shame. You say, no, I'm not no, so no, much. No. If there was shame, you wouldn't have done it five times to begin with. Leon. Why, why is there going to be shame on number six? Shame, no shame. Leon, he is banned. You know what? Okay. I, I, I can't. I can't. This is so rude. This, this is, is rude. I this think, is so rude. I think it so is rude. rude. 
rude. I think you are rude for stopping me on my job. Oh, you're rude for putting up a sign that says all you can eat when you don't need a word of it. You don't no. have to worry about this because you are banned for life. Oh, I'm banned. You're banned oh, now. Bye-bye. Yeah, I can't like give a shit if I ever <laughs> enter that dump of a restaurant well, I don't again. care what shits you have because the shit is gone from my life. Shalom, bitch. Unfortunately, a little bad news. I'm not going to be able to take this off of your bill tonight. Why? It's halfway gone. You, you guys ate a lot of pie. Is this a joke? It's not a joke. What you <gasps> ate went past the threshold of returnability. OK, I took a robust bite initially because it's dessert. Then I took a tentative bite to confirm that it was gross. And then he took a bite. Three bites. She took one bite. She said, this tastes awful. A second bite, yes, it is awful. And you take a large bite at that point? That's the part that doesn't make sense. You have to take a large bite. How else do you confirm? That's three huge bites. You know what? Charge me double for it. I don't need to. She's an artist. She's a libertine. We're going back to my house. We're going to have sex. We're going to forget about this horrible experience. Exactly. OK? In case Stu doesn't make it, he has some requests. What do you mean, requests? He wants you to keep an eye on Olivia. Who? Our 11-year-old daughter. You gotta be kidding. I don't know anything about children. Who better to step up at this time than you, Larry? Anybody in the world, go out on this street. A homeless person would do a better job than me. I'm telling you what he told me. I have this right, but you want me to keep an, an eye on your 11-year-old daughter? Yes, Larry. And you know, I met your daughter at the lunch, and she pulled the string on my sweatshirt. And it was all I could do to restrain myself from yelling, you fuck. That's what I wanted to say to uh, your daughter. She pulled the string out. The sweatshirt's ruined. She's curious. You're passionate. It's all right. It's a good combination. I'm not being immodest when I tell you that I don't really think I'm the right person for this job. You are, Liz. You know... Hello. Hello. Just got out of the shower. And, uh... There are no towels. It's because I can't deal with the towels right now. And why is that? Because I was holding the towels when you and her were... Uh -huh. <sighs> they remind me of the trauma. Oh, uh, the trauma? Yeah, the trauma. I'll tell you what. What? <laughs> why don't I get some new towels? I think I couldn't. Like, any any sort of towels would be... You can't even go near towels. No, no, I can't. So cleaning any towels in this house is traumatic. Yeah. How about when you take a shower at home and uh, you use your towels? Well, those are my towels. Oh, so it's just my towels. Yeah. And even the new towels would be a reminder of the trauma. But I also noticed that my clothing hasn't been washed. That's also a trauma? You don't believe me I have a trauma? Can we get over the trauma by tomorrow? I do my best. This is a first-degree premeditative fucking. You know what makes it even worse? Is you don't have any remorse. You're a sociopath. You fucked me in cold blood, and you're a monster. And now I have to accept the fact that you're wired like a fucking lunatic. I can't take care of kids. I hate kids. I'd rather have roaches in my bathtub as pets than take care of a kid. And I'm fucking Mary Poppins. You're a very affable and genial fellow. You can do a much better job than I can. You have a knack. What? No, am I? You were yes, way you too are. sophisticated. You always child. take time for people. No, I don't. I make you're no time. You're completely courteous. I can't even believe the way people talk about you behind your back. Oh, that's you know Bernie Funkhauser. He's the nicest guy I've ever oh, met. Oh, my God. I'm the nicest guy. People always say how lovely nobody you are. Said, nobody Oh, it's so funny. Larry Brighton's the pony. Nobody said a decent word about what my entire life. Say, people love you. I don't you. even say decent yes, word. Yes, I do. I say it all the time. I say he's honest. He's loyal. I won't say it anymore. I'm Stu's cousin from, from the family text chain. Oh, uh, yeah, the text chain. Yeah, we yeah. love that you're on there. I notice yeah. you haven't really been very active on it, no. barely replying at, at all, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do. I think I'm too good for the chain. Oh, sorry, you don't want to help your friend. Help? It, you know, it takes minimal effort just to reply, even a ha-ha or a oh, thumbs up. Oh, or, really? Are there funny that? things on there that I mean, require a ha-ha? If you read through it, there's, can, a, there's can, a lot can, of... Can I be honest with you? Please. I'm overwhelmed by this chain. Every two minutes, it's ding. I'm getting a ding. I'm getting a ding. Too many dings. And what is it? It's just these ridiculous, inspirational sentiments that amount to nothing, that all trite. I 
don't even know why people bother to write them. It's been a really hard time for the family. Ha, ha, so. a ha, ha. Or a heart. Oh. That's also an option, but oh. it seems like that's too much for you. You know it's too much for me? This chain is too much for me. I want off this chain. Once you're off the chain, you can't get back Oh, no, chain. don't say that. Really? I would text this to you, but I know you won't read it. So here's the real life emoji. There oh, you go. Oh, I'll give that a ha, ha. You didn't like it when you saw me toss the keys to Rodrigo, I, 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 I don't want to get into this. I'm, I'm trying to work. I saw you look askance, though, when you saw it. Okay, I thought it was kind of a big shot move. Rodrigo likes to catch. I doubt that. Did you mind me tossing the keys to you earlier? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You like a key toss. Absolutely. It's human nature. We like to catch. I mean, that's what I thought, right? And we like to toss. <laughs> people like to toss and catch, right? <laughs> right. Ah. There are two people in the valet world, sir. Handers and tossers. And you're a tosser. Okay, Victor, I'll be back in a half an hour. I gotta go sign some papers so I can kill my friend whenever I want to. And when I come back, I'd appreciate it if you toss me my keys and I'll hand you your tip. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the cheese. Oh, it's gone. What? I ate it. You ate the bonder dog? Yeah. What do you mean? Why'd you eat it? It's not because your it's cheese. it's delicious. It's not your cheese. It's my cheese. Well, you left it here for a day. I left it here to pick up. I told you I was going to pick it up later or tomorrow. This is tomorrow. It was in my refrigerator, and I believe possession is nine-tenths of the law. Uh, what's the other ten? Fucking over your friends and eating their cheese? Yeah, is that the just... other tenth of the law? Huh? Maybe. I'm going to all in Beverly Hills to pick up that cheese. Oh, Jeff, he's complaining that the Vonderdonk is gone. Good cheese. Yeah. You had it too? Uh, it's in a sandwich. Yeah, a melt. I made him a melt. Who are you people? Oh, hey, honey. Hey, uh, Larry David. I know Larry, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did Lewis uh, talk to you? No, I didn't, I didn't hear from Lewis. What? Well, I, I didn't, never heard from Lewis. Unbelievable. So. Well, I specifically called him up and asked if he could get me clearance. He didn't call me, so. Technically, this is a uncleared conversation. It's like an ambush. I don't know what to say. I'm very embarrassed. Yeah. I'm a little mortified, frankly. Why would you go up to someone if you hadn't gotten the okay from Lewis? Because I just assumed that Lewis was going to get the you clearance. You don't assume stuff like that. Oh, I assume this boat has plenty of life preservers for everyone. Oh, no, it's the Titanic. It doesn't. This will go a lot better once I get some clearance. I think. Well, will, will, you, will you think about the clearance? Sure. Yeah, I'll think about it. Uh, you're not going to think about it. Can I, can you son of a bitch. That's can, my car. Let, let me explain. That's my let, car. Let me explain, okay? The guy actually has a colostomy bag, and I felt oh, terrible. Come on, I felt please. so guilty you, and awful. I, I had to buy the car. I'm getting my car back. This horse shit story is, it means nothing to me. It's, I don't know if it's even true. You want to buy the car? You can buy the car back off me. Yeah, but hold on a second. I want the car, but I want $3,000 smell discount. I paid full price. I didn't get a smell discount. I mean, there's still an odor in the car, isn't there, Mr. David? You're never going to smell it. You got long COVID. You're not smelling. You're not tasting. But I'm making improvements in all those areas. You'll improve your smell? Yeah, I might get surgery. You can't get surgery for smell. Yes, you can. They got smell surgery? There's smell clinics, but it's in Switzerland. I'm not sure if I'm going to go. But that, the point is, I want the $3,000 discount, and I want my car, and that's the end of it. Cheryl's so nice. She's so pretty. Cheryl, too good for you. You brittle like wood. You're so skinny. Why you not eat? I eat. I eat plenty. Your skin's so dry. You drink water? Yeah, I drink water. Not enough. That's nice. Finish. Huh? That's it? What about this? You done? You want happy ending? No, I don't have you. No, you've only done 35 minutes. I paid for an hour. No, 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 no. Well, I don't want a happy ending. No, no, no happy ending. I don't want a happy ending. I just want an ending. No, no, no. I don't happy ending. I mean, are you nuts? What are you doing? You mess with the wrong person. It's so good to see you, Larry. It is crazy how long it's been since we've seen each other. You look great. Oh, that's so nice. Still a sexy beast. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Doesn't he look great, yeah. you guys? You, you've changed uh, quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some people say that I'm as hot as a man as I was a woman. Small world, Larry. You and Ken sleeping together? No, no, no. I slept with Kendra, not Ken. Kendra is Ken. Kendra is not Ken. No, Kendra's Ken. 
Kendra's not Ken. Kendra's Ken. I am Ken. You had sex with me. Ken is Kendra. Kendra's Ken. Ken is Ken. Kendra is Kendra. And never the twain shall meet. Oh, we've met. I'm Ken, and we banged it out. Can I help you? Oh, I'm Chinua for Larry. Yeah, Larry. yeah. This is, uh, this is Bruce, this is Chinua. Oh, no. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, what is that, Larry? What that, do you mean? That is not an introduction. That was an introduction. I introduced him. I said, Bruce, this is Chinua. He said hello. But no handshake, no talk, not even picture. I never said anything about a picture. I said, I introduced you. I introduced you. No introduction. You fail. You fail. I did fail. You have a nice I house. Did. Was that not an introduction? It was not a good introduction. It was an introduction. You're bringing these crazy fucking people into my house. Who the hell was she? Oh, well, she's a, a, a masseuse. You know what? Get the fuck out. What do I owe the honor? Well, Susie told me about your little sex on the floor trick. Sex on the floor trick? You used to tell me, let's have sex on the floor because it's hot. That's how they do it in the movie. Oh, oh you're a floor fucker. You never told me that shit. OK, I like to have sex on the floor. Why? So what? what? What's the real reason you wanted to have sex on the floor? I don't like to cuddle and talk. You don't like to hug the person you just had sex with? You can't hit it and quit it. It's your wife. Cheryl, listen, if after sex you want to talk about the Rangers. Yeah, I know. I would have sex on the bed every time. Hey, how about the way Breadman's playing? The way he controls that puck, it's really amazing, isn't it? But you can't say, oh, I love you, and you're the most important person to me in the whole world. People talk like that? Yeah. They do? Yeah, that's what happens when people have sex. They say stuff like that? Yes, they say, I love you. You're very special. Men do that? How could you be so happy right now? You gave Bruce COVID, Larry. You destroyed his life, his career. He might never play or sing again. Poor boss. That's right, poor oh, boss. Oh, the poor boss. His fans are devastated. Oh, the poor fans. Everybody fucking hates you now. Oh. It's all your fault. You're a walking fucking virus, Larry. Let me say something. You're the virus. Injecting yourself into everybody's lives. You're the virus. You're the virus. You're, You're the, the virus. virus. You're, You're the, the virus. virus. Your entire aura is viral overload. I have a Hall of Fame aura. You're small. You're petty. You're jealous. Oh, you know what? Go fuck yourself. I hope you're up here for another three weeks. You cold-hearted, COVID-carrying cocksucker! Excuse me, sir. Oh. Someone let me know that your phone is still on. We need to put that on airplane mode or stow it away. Who would do something like that? I'm not going to disclose that and your seatbelt's off. But why won't you tell me? Why would I tell you? Because I'd, I'd like to know. There's a squealer on this plane. I'd like to know who it is. I'm not comfortable flying with a squealer. Sir, you're not comfortable with a squealer, yet you're asking me to squeal? That's a different kind of squealing. It seems, like, very hypocritical. I could see on its face that it does seem that way, but okay. if you examine it, it's really not. I'm not going to squeal on the squealer, okay? You tell her that I was on the phone? How dare you huh? accuse me Just of squealing? I'm schlepping all the way to fucking Atlanta to support you. You tell her about my phone? Is that you? Why would I draw attention when I got my whole fucking phone on? This phone's on. Yeah, it's phone's on. Check it out. Check it out. Come on, really? Look at his phone. Look at his phone. You're squealing on someone now? Yeah, he's endangering the, the rest of the passengers. Larry, Larry. Yeah. This guy back here. What? Oh, it, it flipped on. Why would you do that to me? Passenger safety. You're dealing with three very disturbed individuals here. Oh, oh, there's our exit. Hey, hey she's not, she won't let me in. Hey, let me in. Let me in. Can we get over? Hey, can we get in? Let me, what's wrong with you? We're trying to get in. She's speeding up. We want to get off the highway. Are you kidding me? What is with this woman? What let us in? Oh, shit! Fuck you, too! What? Just wanna get in! What kind of person does something like that? Fuck you! We were deeply in love. Wow. In fact, so much in love that when I broke up with her, she uh, attempted suicide. Ooh. Really? What? You're telling me that if she can't have you, she'd rather be dead? I guess so. You know, sometimes when you break up with someone, to get pity, they say they attempted suicide. So the person will go back with them. It's manipulative. It's Wait manipulative. a minute, you're doubting yeah. her suicide attempt. You think yeah. you're suicide yeah, material? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah, why did you do it? Oh, it was the whole, the breakup? I was emotionally distraught. 
And yes, I did attempt suicide. How'd you do it? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. <laughs> you don't remember? Uh, 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 pills, okay? What kind of pills? Pink pills. You know, I asked her about the, uh, the suicide. Oh, Jesus Christ. The woman tried to hang herself. Oh, she did? Yes. Well, isn't that curious? Because she told me she took pills. Well, what's the difference? What's pills the difference? Hanging. What's the difference? You think somebody would so remember I... how they tried to kill themselves? Why are you doing this to me again? Ruining my potential wives. Ruining my chance to have Jeez. children. Yeah. What? I want family. How are you going to do that? We'll adopt. You know, what are you gonna adopt? A 40-year-old? Yeah, a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> a doctor, a doctor, and a doctor. And a lawyer. Good, good idea. Why not? Do you know of any good places around here? Oh, 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 oh. the Mexican place. Oh, that's places. Oh, no, no, she doesn't Conda. like Mexican food. No? No. Well, you go to the left. Why would you say that? Huh? Say what? That I don't like Mexican food. Well, you don't like Mexican food. Don't say it in front of people. I told what? you that in confidence. Confidence? I don't know what your problem with it because is. Because it's personal to me. No, that's not personal. Mm -hmm. Telling people what sexual positions you like, that would be personal. Just keep it to yourself. You don't like funnel cake. Is it OK if I tell people that? Yes. You didn't like the remake of The Fugitive with Harrison Ford. Can I tell people that? Yes. OK. I won't tell anybody else Thank you. that you don't like Mexican food. Thank you. Are you OK? I am. I'm not so sure. OK. Larry David broke the law. He's going to admit that to you, and I'm going to bring up a number of witnesses who are going to show you a pattern. It's not a very nice pattern. Because Larry David doesn't respect the law. Ooh, hey, hey, what is that? I need it for the light. The I what? Need I'm, to read. I'm trying to read. read. I can't see. You're blinding good. me. Well, I need it to read. I need Wait, to... why don't you use the overhead light? Keep the sweater, keep the shade up. I'm trying to watch a movie. All I see is glare. It's like I'm watching a fucking radio right now. My retinas are burning. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Cheryl and I want it open. It's a community oh, shade. She doesn't own that shade. Go fuck yourself, Larry. Well, take a vote. Go back to fucking jail, Larry. My vote would go. Pretty, pretty good. Wait, 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 before. Ask permission, <laughs> ask permission before you touch people, Larry. Oh, Larry, you've gone too far this time. <laughs> yes, Larry. Somebody had to do it. 